Oh, hey everybody, I didn't hear you there. I'm sorry, that was, that was terrible. I shouldn't make jokes at the beginning of these videos because they just never land. That was awkward. But you guys are here now and you're paying attention. And today we're gonna get real and talk about Apple's new launch of spatial audio as well as lossless audio for Apple Music. We're gonna try to answer some of your questions and the biggest one which is which headphones work with spatial audio as well as lossless audio. And uh, we have a bunch of examples here between the AirPods Max, AirPods Pro, AirPods, um, some Beats headphones, and I got some third party gear here too. So we're gonna kind of walk through what will and won't work and what you need to know about lossless and spatial audio for Apple Music. So basics first, Apple Music will be supporting lossless and spatial audio come June with the release of iOS 14.6. It'll work on iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple TV. At launch, there will be thousands of songs that support Dolby Atmos and spatial audio, with more added constantly over time, and there will be 20 million songs supporting Apple Lossless at launch, with up to uh, the full catalog 75 million launching by the end of 2021. And all this is included free for Apple Music subscribers. So if you're already, already paying the 10 bucks a month, you are getting lossless and spatial audio included for no extra cash. Spatial audio and Apple lossless files will be denoted inside of the Apple Music app uh, via special icons. There's a lossless icon as well as a spatial audio icon so that you know they support those features. Uh, Apple will be curating several playlists of things like spatial audio so that you can really see and take advantage of those 3D immersive songs. Uh, they are partnering with a few big artists, uh, The Weeknd, Ariana Grande, uh, Maroon 5, uh, Casey Musgraves, all at launch as well as many more. And again, more will be added over time. So a bunch of people starting off with that spatial audio, which is what I think I'm most excited about, what you should probably be most excited about, unless you're a true high-end audiophile. Uh, but that's kind of the main thing that you need to know getting into this. So that's the basics of what the lossless and spatial audio are. But what headphones will support these features? Starting with that spatial audio. Apple says, that any of its own headphones that support either the H1 or the W1 chip will work with spatial audio. So which headphones is that? Pretty much any one that Apple makes, at least in the recent years. So if you have the original AirPods, you have a W1 chip in there and it'll work with spatial audio. If you have the second generation AirPods uh, or the second generation with the wireless charging case, it has the H1 chip in there and it'll work with spatial audio. Uh, if you've got AirPods Pro, these guys, yep, they'll work with spatial audio. They already did work with spatial audio. Uh, and if you've got the AirPods Max, these two work with spatial audio. If you have Beats products, something like these uh, super awesome retro Disney Beats, yeah, these are gonna work. Uh, or if you've got uh, the Power Beats Pro, also going to work. So anything with an H1 chip or the W1 chip will work automatically. You start playing a uh, spatial audio, Dolby Atmos audio file, and you're going to hear that sound coming in front of you, behind you, above you, your left and the right, just all around you in 3D space. It is very cool. Now there is an important differentiation between spatial audio for music and spatial audio for videos. Spatial audio for videos is still only supported on AirPods Pro and AirPods Pro Max. These are the only two devices that will support spatial audio for video. And that's because when you're using spatial audio for video, Apple's actually tracking your head movements. There's gyroscopes in these guys and anytime you move your head or move your device, it's changing the reference point for that video. I know that just messed up the focus, uh, but it changed the reference point for that audio coming from the video. So if the person's talking here and you change your head, you're gonna hear it more coming from this way. Same way you turn your head that way, you'll hear it coming from this side. So that is what the spatial audio is doing for video. It's really keeping that audio coming from the source of the video file. Whereas spatial audio for audio, you don't have that point of reference. So audio is just, fixed to your head and coming all around you. So it doesn't matter where you're moving, it stays in the same point of reference. So that's the biggest difference between spatial audio for videos, which is just AirPods Pro and AirPods Max, and spatial audio with Dolby Atmos for music, which is going to be Apple's entire lineup. 
Now, if we wanna talk about third-party headphones, there's a ton of third-party headphones out there on the market. Many of these will also support spatial audio to varying degrees. They'll be differently successful based on how well they support uh, Dolby Atmos. So anything that supports Dolby Atmos will work with spatial audio and Dolby Atmos in Apple Music. It just has to support Dolby Atmos to do that. You can go into settings and enable it. And when you do, it'll work with third-party headphones to varying degrees based on their own support. So you'll really have to try it to find out for yourself and see how effective and how well it works. The only ones Apple's really fully endorsing, of course, is their own products that is tested with spatial audio. By the way, spatial audio for Apple Music also works on Apple TV, which is amazing because of course, spatial audio does not work uh, for videos coming from Apple TV. Point of reference is too far away, so it's not able to kind of move around. So that's important to know. Also, you can use the built-in speakers of your device. So of course, Apple's been adding Dolby Atmos speakers to its recent devices. Uh, I believe like the new iMac support, the 24-inch iMacs, the new iPhones, iPads, all support Dolby Atmos out of their built-in speakers. And of course, will support spatial audio on these new Dolby Atmos spatial audio Apple Music files. Looking at lossless audio, it gets a little complicated, but please, please stick with me. So Apple is splitting up lossless into two tiers. There's just regular lossless, which is dubbed CD quality. Then it goes up to high res lossless, which is the highest quality possible that sounds you know, as close to the master file uh, as it possibly could. Both of these only work with wired headphones. So if you want to listen to lossless audio, you have to plug in um, whatever headphones you have to plug them in. And if you want the high res lossless, you do need to use a digital to analog converter, DAC. So you have to use that to get that completely uncompressed file. Here's the rub though, for a lot of you out there. Apple lossless in either tier is seemingly not supported on any of Apple's headphones. Not the Powerbeats Pro, not its Beats headphones, not the AirPods Pro, let alone the regular AirPods, uh, and definitely not even the brand new AirPods Max. Not even connected over lightning. None of those support Apple lossless. So you are gonna need to turn to third party wired headphones um, once it support the higher resolution audio that Apple is going to be streaming. So whatever you've got around that is high enough audio quality, there's, a, there's plenty of options out there, but the main thing is that Apple is relying on AAC for its audio quality streaming on AirPods, but the Apple lossless and Apple high res lossless are using ALAC, not AAC. So they're unsupported on any of Apple's wireless or even the AirPods Max when they're plugged in. So we're hoping things change. This is all very early, but that's what's been confirmed by Apple so far. It is always possible that Apple could change things, issue an update for its, its Pro and its Max headphones that would enable streaming at at least the regular lossless quality or do something to change you know, AirPods Max that would work with um, you know, ALAC over wired. But as it stands right now, none of Apple's headphones will work with Apple Lossless. HomePod will work with Apple Lossless, so I guess that's important to know, uh, but none of their headphones will. So you will need to turn to third-party ones, and if you want the highest resolution, you will need a DAC to put that in the middle to get that full high-res lossless file. Like I said, I understand things get confusing here, but I hope this helped a little bit understand Apple lossless and Apple spatial audio so you can make the right decisions whether you're debating on moving to Apple music from something like Spotify because you really want lossless and hoping it would work on your headphones uh, or you were debating on picking something up like the AirPods Max and you were wanting to get them because of lossless. 
whatever decisions you're trying to make or if you're just trying to understand a little bit more. Hopefully this video at least helps in some way. If you have any more questions, let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and I will do my best to answer them for you. You can also check out the link down below in the description. We've got an Apple Insider article uh, that we put together that'll hopefully help make sense of this even more in written sense. You can kind of peruse it at your own leisure. Check that out and hopefully that helps as well. Otherwise, stay tuned to Apple Insider. We'll have much more as iOS 14.6 launches here in June.